Hey, thanks for joining another Real Time Edits. Ray Hennessy here. I got a fun one for you today with this Osprey that was flying along. Um, I was down in South Carolina shooting in Emily Reed's Amazing Marsh and had this uh, this Osprey just cruise by out of nowhere. We were photographing these wood storks, actually. This was during our, our workshop down there. And Osprey flies by with this uh, crow just harassing the hell out of it. So anyway, uh, the light, we had this like hanging fog glowing backlit you know really really cool mood and vibe um i certainly wasn't ready for this shot to happen uh but i managed to just you know uh, kind of i think i knelt up and lifted the camera and shot and i mean if i zoom in here totally not tech sharp i think yeah it was only like 640th of a second uh but sharp enough you know i mean you can see the individual wings on each bird there and when you view it at you know more appropriate zoom the entire image there uh for me totally fine so Let's edit this up. Uh, I also overexposed it. Um, so that's more like where I'd wanna be. White balance is certainly off. It was definitely more of this kind of warm morning tone like that. Let's get these highlights popping a little bit more. We'll do a little bit with the whites and a little bit with the tone curve there. I really wanna exaggerate what's going on there. Maybe a little bit too yellow there. And just shift a little bit more towards the magenta. Oh, let me try it. What happens if I go really warm with it? Yeah, that was a bit much. So maybe somewhere in there feels pretty good. All right, I do like still seeing the marsh grasses in down here. And so, yeah, just maybe still a little bit too green. So one more hit of magenta should get me where I want to be. All right, into Photoshop I go at this point. Um, you know, what? I want to actually open this as a smart object because I might want to play with some background. Um, I might want to see through the background in some areas better there uh, through that haze. So I'm going to throw a little bit of a layer of dehaze on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. All right. And so that kind of sucks everywhere else, but I think it's going to be good like in some of these areas just to kind of... I want to try and enhance these layers of fog here. And the best way to do that is to cut through it where you don't want it. There we go. Kind of subtle there. But now I really have these layers showing more. Look at that. All right, check that out. Sweet. All right. Um, just make sure that I didn't do too much on the Osprey itself there. We'll leave him. I kind of want them darker in some spots, so I'll use some of that dehaze, but not a bunch. And then the crow certainly could go a little bit darker as well. So we'll use some of that dehaze layer on him. There we go. Make sure we get some in the tail down here. Yeah, it's always funny to watch these crows just mobbing these predators, these birds of prey. You can just see on the like on the osprey, it's just like leave me alone. He just kept trying to fly away and like get away, and the crow was just not giving up, not having it. It's pretty wild. Um, oh man, uh, not a lot left here. Let's see. Um, don't like that spot, bright spot right in the corner. And then I think I'm just gonna throw a little bit of a burn across the top here because I want it darker, but I don't want added contrast anymore like that. I don't want any more of that dehaze. Uh, I just want to kind of darken what was there. There we go. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of enhancement on these brighter areas. And let's see if I can just grab them with some color range. Get a little bit more out of it here. Let's see. Let's see if I can drop that black out of there. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Come on, do your thing, color range. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good, but a little bit too much in some spots, so. Let me just paint some of it in where I think it could use it. The selection didn't do so hot up here, so I'll just manually paint some of these in. There we go. I'll tell you, sometimes it's just easier to just paint it in the way you want it, you know? What the heck? Hit the wrong button there, obviously. 
All right, uh, now just trying to decide if I want to go brighter with the whole thing. Kind of just sitting back and looking here. So add a little contrast, and I still feel like there's some green in that top. Oof, that was not good. Uh, let me take a little bit of green out of the highlights, but then I'll leave where it was in the shadows and see what that does. Yeah, that's definitely better. Yeah. There we go. I like that. That certainly looks better. I'm just going to cut it and maybe down to 70%. And then I'll try actually a little bit of warmth and red in those highlights. Uh, but then I'll keep the shadows anchored where they were because I really like the colors that are in the shadows there. I just wanted more warmth, which I think I need more red in the, um, in like these lighter areas back there. So Let's see what that does. Yeah, there we go. That's the glow I wanted. Nice. All right. Just one click off on the red. All right, let's see. There's before, after. Yeah, check that out. Really exaggerates those layers. Birds stand out really nicely now. All right, I think I'm happy with that. So let's save it. We'll get back into Lightroom. I'll show you the complete original, which is going to look very different in this circumstance. I did change this one up quite a bit. Um, but thankfully, you know, not a real long edit at all here. So let's see. There's your before and after. You know, look at that. Crazy different. This is a little bit closer to the reality as far as the color too. Like the white balance was just plain wrong here, right? So it wasn't that blue at all. Uh, it definitely had all that, those hanging layers they were real obvious to your face, like to us when we were walking around, especially when you stood up and started moving, you could just see them hanging there, you know, so they don't show quite as nicely here, which makes sense, right? Cause you're shooting through a lot of that fog. So it just kind of hazes out everything, you know what I mean? But to your eye, uh, it was showing much more like that. You could see those individual layers hanging out there, which was really cool. I remember just thinking how incredible it was. And then when the sun was hitting it, you know, for sure, you could see that, that kind of orangey glow happening in there. So yeah, this feels like a, a, a much more accurate representation of it. And yeah, I'm really happy with this kind of kind of turned out pretty, uh, pretty cool for just like a, a random quick grab shot, you know? All right. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Here's my time for a quick plug for myself and the stuff that I do. If you're looking to learn more about what I just did in this video or any of the other ones that you've seen with the real time edit series, um, head on over to rayhannessy.com, go to the workshops menu down to online workshops, you can see all the different options that I offer here, including an online remote session, which is a great way to get started working with me. Uh, you just sign up, we'll figure out a schedule that works for both of us, and then we will schedule a time to connect remotely. I'll answer any questions you have and talk you through some edits of your own photos and stuff like that. Uh, if you wanna work with, with me on more of an ongoing basis, the mentorships are a great option for that. I have plenty of openings for that. I just redid all those mentorship tier levels that I offer, and they are all remote online options now so you can work with me from anywhere in the world i also have the online lightroom wildlife course and the online bird photography course and then of course there's always the podcast i have a few podcasts uh, the wildlife photo chat we're all coming out every week and the other wildlife photo chat podcast coming out every chance i get and new content on the website every day hopefully have some more videos coming in the near future but uh, that's always a tough thing just because it's so much time involved so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one